Day 11, Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 to 7. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave but a child, and if a child then also an heir through God. Meditation The Roman province of Galatia in Asia Minor boasted of farmlands rich in grain and vast sheep farms and fertile vineyards ripe with luscious grapes for wine. Tombstones from Galatia are decorated with just such elements a yoke of oxen with a plow and sickle representing abundant grain yarn and needle representing the production of yarn from wool and a vine with grapes who managed these farms slaves they and their owners grasped the disparity between slaves and sons which Paul adopts to contrast the works of Torah and believing with faith between life bounded by flesh and life in unbounded spirit. Rural slaves were destined to a life of unrelenting labor in the fields without the slimmest chance of freedom, except at the time of the death of the owner. Rural slaves lived in stark distinction from the privileged existence of the sons of the master. Paul knows the difference between slaves and sons and therefore his hearers understand the difference. A life of faith, St. Paul claims, takes place within the family circle where the spirit from deep within propels the familial cry, Abba, Father. Slavery in contrast is hopeless labor and unrequited toil. There is no circle of security, no intimacy, no embrace, no life, just unrelenting work. Sometimes we are not sure where we belong or understand this difference. We are sometimes slaves and sometimes children. We are in a world where we are free to go but also obligated to stay to get the job done day in and day out. We are a domestic in the house of God, a skilled labor, part slave, part child. I want to pray, Abba. I want that intimacy. I want to fold myself into God, curling up at rest. hearing the beat of God's heart feeling the moist warmth of God's breath supremely confident in God's care but there is so much left to do there are classes to be taught a family to be raised a job to be kept how very much i need to know a god who says come here climb on my lap How very much I need to know a God who says, Let's not cook tonight. Let's order something and watch a movie instead. The times when we do this, the times we believe that we are children are most memorable. The times when we are able to sit before God and pour our hearts out, put aside work and share time with family, and share intimate moments with them we remember these dear friends let these moments these 40 days that we spend with the lord not be an obligation that we cross off our list let prayer today be for us a deep sigh a contented breath because when all is said and done God's passion for us isn't a response to our expert attention to obligation. God's passion for us isn't a response to our expert attention to obligations. God's passion lies in a primal love for us. 
sons and daughters respond in faith with only one word that matters appa prayer holy spirit let me not lose myself in work errands and obligations holy spirit still me once in a while stop me sometimes let me breathe now and again holy spirit teach me to pray not in many words just one appa amen